Because? A dog, Alec, let me tell you. <laughs> right to your face. <laughs> they don't care. They will let you have it, you know? <clears throat> well, I saw your movie last night, actually. I, I saw it. We, we had a screen. Two o'clock in the morning. We saw it. But, uh, but a real thriller. I mean, I, I like thriller movies. So this, this was kind of fun. It's a nice movie with a story. This, well, this movie was directed by Harold Becker, who did Sea of Love, who I want to say hello to Harold, who really, really did a great job. He yeah. really pulled this together, because this is really a director's <clears throat> medium thriller. You know, Gordon Willis did the photography, who did the Godfather films and a lot of Woody Allen films. Why do you think there aren't many, many thrillers? I mean, is it just it's too hard to get to scripts? Yeah? It's tough to do. I mean, they're very... They have to make a certain amount of sense. You have to have people doing things that, and putting themselves at great risk for something that you can understand why they would do yeah, these crazy yeah. things for. Because it does take a lot of turns, and I, I yeah, must admit, I didn't, make sense to I, did, I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming because I thought, oh, because when it opened, I see you, and I went, oh, oh, he's probably the bad guy. There you go. And I went, oh, no, it wasn't. Well, so. there's a lot of things you can do in a film that would just, like, make the film work well at a certain moment that you can't do in a thriller because it, it takes away from it. You can't, you got to watch out if you try to make it funny or if you try to do yeah. it. Because it has to always have this kind of bearing down kind of grave quality. Well, we have a clip here. This is a scene. Now, you play <clears> as, uh, I play the evil. I play, I play. Cocky doctor. I play, yeah. Okay. And, and this is this is at a hearing, right? You're the the cocky. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting reamed out at this insurance fraud hearing. All right, let's take a look. Malice is the movie. I have an MD from Harvard. I am board certified in cardiothoracic medicine and trauma surgery. I have been awarded citations from seven different medical boards in New England, and I am never ever sick at sea. So I ask you, when someone goes into that chapel fall on their knees and they pray to God that their wife doesn't miscarry or that their daughter doesn't bleed to death or that their mother doesn't suffer acute neural trauma from post-operative shock. Who do you think they're praying to? Now, you go ahead and read your Bible, Dennis, and you go to your church and with any luck you might win the annual raffle, but if you're looking for God, he was in operating room number two. November 17th, and he doesn't like to be second-guessed. You ask me if I have a God complex? Let me tell you something. I am God. My wife sees that, and she'll watch it on TV, and she'll, and she'll go, <gasps> Oh, how can you say that, Alec? That's so awful. <laughs> Saying you're God and everything, that's going, you're going to go straight to hell. You know? <laughs> She's like right on my case about this movie. Now, did, yeah. you, did you do the whole doctor thing? Did you study them? And, and... We went 